Hey, Rookies, Andy Lip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial. And today we're looking at the one and only, I did talk about it in my previous video, the zoom in on the mouse, as you can see just here, the, the cursor tracking. As we know, this is working directly in OBS. There's nothing else kind of on there. If you've not seen my previous video about installing Python and making that work in OBS, check out my video just up there. You're gonna need that first, okay? Uh, let's just get on with it. I'm really excited. I absolutely love this and it will help make uh, tutorials and stuff so much easier. Less editing equals more time making. Do you know what I mean? Put your rock with the stone. Let's go. Right, to get this working, there is a load of things that we need to get installed. Make sure you have seen the Python video first, otherwise none of this will work, okay? So, jumping over to this GitHub page, the link is in the description down below. Don't worry about anything like that. We're going to have to download this thing first. So, if I press this uh, little green button just here and press download zip, if for some reason that's not there, you might need to create a GitHub account to be able to download it. And further down is telling us we need to install some uh, things into Python, okay? So to do that, we're going to head down to search at the bottom just here and just type in CMD to open command prompt. And we're, we're in here now. All we're going to type in is pip install pynput. Press enter. And that is going to install just there. Mine's already installed, so it's just saying this is already done. Yours might take a second for it to install. It's only a couple uh, of kind of megabytes, probably two, three megabytes. And we're going to do the same with type in pip install screen info. And that's going to install that just there. So mine's already all installed, so there's nothing to worry about just there. And once that's done, just close that down. And then we're going to open up the the, the folder that we uh, downloaded earlier, this OBS Zoom and Follow Master. This is the file that we're going to use, this Python file, okay? So just remember the location of where you have put that. You might need to unzip it, okay? I've done a Blue Peter and made one earlier. I'm going to open up OBS, as you can see just here. Go up to Tools at the top, go down to Scripts. Once we're in here, you'll have all your different scripts. I actually have mine turned on there already. I'm going to remove it. You didn't see that. We're going to press the plus sign and add script, and we're going to add the zoom and follow mouse python file just there double click that and it should all show up like this for some reason if it's not showing up you've not got python installed correctly go and watch the video it'll sort you out okay uh, once we're in here we can see all the different kind of settings that we've got it gives you a little explanation of what these are it's quite strange how it works it works via using crops and stuff like that so uh, the update interval is how quick it updates the mouse movements the display source is what we're going to use to capture so i'm going to use this display capture down here so I'm gonna do the drop down press display capture uh, that's fine so that's selecting this source to add the, the the crop and everything to and the tracking the monitor width and height is basically whatever your monitor size is or whatever the element that you're going to be using is so if you if it's 1080p you, you'll have to change the uh, info in there the zoom eye is how much you want it to be zoomed in so get a screen ratio that is equivalent to the 16 by 9 or whatever canvas you are using so i'm going to 720 so that's like 720p uh, basically that means that's how much it zooms in the active border is basically how much tracking will be around the mouse, how centralized it's going to be, how much border it's going to need moving around. I'll show you that in a second. The max scroll speed is how quick it's going to kind of match. Uh, the smoothness and the zoom duration is when you activate and deactivate the movement. That's pretty much everything there. I'm going to run through them whilst editing this as well. But to get it all activated, we need to go up to the top, press file and press settings. Once in settings, we're going to go to hotkeys just here. And once in hotkeys, if we scroll down, we should see enable and disable mouse zoom and follow. It should be near the top. I'm going to uh, put that on a hotkey. I'm going to put it on that key just there. Whatever that key is, I'm going to type it in again. There we go. Press apply. Press OK. So now when I press that hotkey, you can see it's kind of zooming a little bit weird and it doesn't look like a zoom at all. It's just changing the canvas size because again, it's cropping it. So we need to make an adjustment to whatever source we're using. We're using display, so I'm going to right click on it, press transform and go to edit transform as you can see just here. 
And then we're going to change the positional alignment to center. That's a good habit to get into because when you want to add rotation and moving it around, it's always going to go from the center point. I don't know why it defaults to top left. I prefer center. So uh, we're going to change the bounding box just here to stretch to bounds. As you can see there, and leave that on as center. Now when I press the button, you'll notice it zooms in. And it is tracking my mouse all the way around. It looks quite trippy, but as you can see, it's tracking everywhere that my mouse goes. As easy as that. Press the hotkey again to turn it off, and it, it stops tracking. So there's some settings that we could play around with that I was telling you about. The active board, if we turn that all the way down to zero, is kind of basically it needs to move when it gets to the edge of the the arrow as you can see it's not moving around anymore unless it's kind of off screen if i turn that up to maximum you can see see how the mouse is kind of staying central now within the screen it's only got a small amount before it moves so this is kind of personal preference i usually leave it quite high at 25 or something like that the smoothness again as you can see when i turn that down it looks horrific crank that up it looks loads better, as you can see. The zoom duration is for when you're zooming in and out. You don't have to have a zoom. As you can see, every time I press the hotkey, it's instant. Turn that up, it takes longer for the zoom to go in and out. So it looks a little bit more smooth. And that is pretty much everything that there is to that plugin. It is so cool. And if you are doing OBS tutorials, this will help you out massively. It means you don't have to do any editing or anything like that. You can just get it on a decent hotkey that's really easy to do. When you pay point your mouse you just want to zoom in on that one area boom it's easy done hopefully this is helped you out if it has please press that like button also subscribe because i've got tons and tons of content that's going to help you become a better creator um, and better streamer you're gonna be a better person all right you're gonna be a better person if you are actually in love with the content please join us over at patreon as well it massively helps keep the channel going makes me do this content full time you know the drill it just means a ton it means that i can help upgrade the the stream upgrade the youtube channel stuff like that and it means i can make more content more often for you guys okay that's enough from me put your rag with a stone i'll see you next time much love I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.